Hey guys, welcome back to Mafia 2. We are commencing chapter 4, Murphy's Law. So previously, I guess you can say we're mobsters, we're gangsters. We we actually worked, did our first job uh, for a mob guy, the Mafia. We actually went into like some sort of like really high government official building and stole some stamps and uh, it was really cool. Like that mission in itself was really cool. So when we ended the last episode, we had a call with Joe. Well, not necessarily a car, but he left a note here on the table and he told me to get strapped, get the lock picks ready, get the guns ready, because uh, supposedly we have a big job coming up. So I want to say right off the bat, this is probably going to end really bad, but uh, hopefully not. Right. So thank you for those of you that keep tuning in to Mafia 2. I know this game's a little old, but my, this game is amazing. So if you want more daily Mafia 2 here on the channel, all you got to do is drop a like and uh, yeah. Just thanks for tuning in and hanging out. So I'm assuming the first thing that we got to do is change clothes, which, by the way, I'm going to have to get a new pair of clothes because I'm starting to think this is probably going to be smelling anytime. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, hey! Okay. <laughs> got goddamn barking dogs outside. It's crazy the attention to detail that this game has. Every single time that a new day comes along, there's something different going on around the apartment, whether it's inside or outside. There's a lot of attention to detail, which is which is definitely really cool. All right. Sorry. I don't know what that was. So we're going to get in our car and uh, <laughs> God damn. OK, our car needs uh, some definite uh, work here. As you can see, it's all banged up, but this will do for now. So I haven't experienced it yet, but I was looking online uh, at some of like the key features that the, this game has. And something that I saw that was really cool was that if you get stopped by the cops, you can actually either run away from them or pay a ticket, which is... I don't think I've ever seen that happen in, in Grand Theft Auto. Like you can pay a ticket right there and then, <laughs> right there and then and just... They'll leave you alone. Obviously, I'm sure it depends on, you know, what the ticket is for. But that was really cool. Like, I read that and I was like, damn. All right. Anyhow, here we are. How you doing this afternoon? <laughs> hey, look who's here. Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the dock. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! <laughs> I'm running some kind of fucking charity here. Do it. Now. Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. Okay. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're going to collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, <laughs> don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Six hours later. Drive to the mall with Joe and rob the jewelry store. All right, Joe, let's go. Look at us being all employed and shit. Hey, so how to go with the ports? <laughs> what, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I work some guys off. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard-up dock workers just like he did my own man. Damn. You didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? 
My mother almost did. Quit whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. Alright. I think we're here. Oh, snap. Look at the uniform and all. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the front door. Oh, Lord. Ah, damn it. Nice and easy does it. Perfect. Oh, no. What the heck is that? What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it. <gasps> Brian fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard. What the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, Dude. 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Oh, uh, no. Fuck. Kiss Let's my get ass. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Dude, I cannot believe that happened. They they had the perfect plan. Everything was going so good. We gotta get the fuck what out the of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come on! Let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit! Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go! Joe, 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 Joe! Wait, where's... Oh, goddamn. Watch my ass while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. Oh! Almost down. Hold on one. Woo! Okay, let's get out of here. Dude, this is so sick. Fuck! I'm just gonna follow Joe here. Hopefully he'll take us the right way. It's going a little faster, Joe. Shit, another dead end. Oh my god. Guess I gotta cover him. In the meantime, right? Come on, Joe. Come on. Oh god! I don't like doing this! We gotta go this way. It's our <laughs> only shot. Joe, let's go! Come on, Vito. Move your ass! <laughs> Are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. Please, One slip please. and we're dead. Oh we no. We got no choice. I ain't going for the drink. Yo, these cops can take some bullets. Dude, the shooting in this game is so, so rewarding. It feels so good. Come on! All right, we got this. Oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there, shoot! Jesus, be careful. Almost lost you there. Yeah. I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. I, uh, this episode has started Shit. with a bang, honestly. Like, this is, this is amazing. Police! Police! There's no way out! All right, I think we got him. I'm gonna swap over to the Magnum. What? Look at how uh, that sound of the of the guns in Almost this game. Hold on, just a little longer. Okay. Oh, so good. Oh, oh my god. 
Oh, look at these graphics, huh? Not too shabby for an old game. Not too shabby. Henry's never gonna believe this. Stupid bastards. Let's go. What if that was a setup? Man, it didn't look like a setup, honestly, but... It just, it just feels like... Fuck off, copper! I didn't do nothing! <laughs> 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 Look at the Irish my ass! <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. <gasps> Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Isn't this exactly what happened last time? All right, so to end the day, go to Joe's. You're wanted by the police. Change your clothes. Okay, so um, let's go to Joe's then. I'm going to have to steal a car here. Hopefully, uh, there's a cop right over there. All right, let's see. Can we do this? Lock pick this car real quick. Don't mind if. Oh, damn it. Don't mind if I do. Yes, sir. <laughs> Call me the lock pick master. All right, I don't think the cops will see me. At least not in this vehicle. Not like they're gonna know. All right, so, so far so good. They've got a little bit of suspicion when they see me, but uh, I think for the most part, we're A-OK. -okay. Now in this game, if you break like the, the laws of traffic, you will get chased by the cops. And if we know one thing is that if we start getting chased by the cops, they're gonna know that. On the side of the bridge. They're gonna know it's me. So I've gotta be extra careful here. Just gotta go back to Joe's house. And uh, hopefully everything's a, a okay. Can we park this car here? All right, pretty cool. Nah, let's see what happened with Joe. I thought we were gonna go to jail or prison. Don't want to go to prison again. Please tell me he's here. Or am I going to have to go to sleep again on the couch and wake up to the next day? God damn it. Come on. All right, let's see. We got some grub here. I'll have a soda. Should I have a beer? How about them apples? Nice. Okay, let's go to bed. That was cool. That was, that was really cool. Chapter five. All right. Well, that was, that was quick. Joe's apartment. February 20th. Hey there, handsome. Uh... Oh. Hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Whoa. Huh. That was something. Oh, snap. Don't do it. Rose of a hose, don't do it. Can't believe this is chapter uh chapter five already. Wow. That's crazy. Let's go see what uh what the word on the street is now that we uh nearly screwed that job up. Oh, oh. You, stupid broad! But Get the I... hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. <laughs> who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word. <laughs> and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. <laughs> oh, let's go, my boy. Let's go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. Hit him with that wombo combo. Oh lord. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really got to get going. Mm, you'll like it, I promise. I got to get going now. I'll see you around. Be careful. Be careful. That smells like trouble. Just saying. You know what? Hold up. I'll just take this dude's car. Why the hell not? Eh, maybe run him over a little bit. There we go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Make sure the job is properly done. Oh, God. Oh, I was going to go through there, but there's a cop right behind me, isn't there? Yep. What happens if I go through here? The cops don't stop me? Nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, anyhow. We're going to go back to Joe's. I have a feeling that that girl is probably going to get in between the friendship of, uh, of our main character and Joe himself. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully Joe doesn't care much about her. Why do people just randomly fall in this game? Like, it's so strange. Hey, you're hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. That's salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? What? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Part of the family, yo. Henry's gonna go. fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah. It's all under control. That's what you said the last time. Bro, there's so Don't many like. Disappoint me. Again, higher tiers. Oh, oh. Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. <laughs> so, Henry, what kind of job are we talking about? Jesus Christ. I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up and then boom, we blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh. Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. 
He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get you anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. Wow. That's crazy, huh? Pick up the hardware from uh, Harry and Kingston. I, I, I think it's so cool how you, you, the game clearly shows you a different tier of mobsters so long, within buddy. the family. There's, it all started with Joe, then with the other guy, then with the older dude, and then hey, oh, hi, there, old, old dude that slapped the other older dude. Like, <laughs> it's, it is insane. It is super, super cool. Maybe we'll get accepted into the family someday. Maybe after this job. Things go well, then uh, you already know. All right. <laughs> oh my God. People here, I swear to God, dude. Holy cow. Who's there? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. Underground facility of guns and goods. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah, you got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds, 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Wait, wait. Where were you? Yeah, what was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, <laughs> I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Load the MG42 into the van outside. What type of activity are we possibly getting ourselves into? This is some Call of Duty gear setup right here. Like... Got the whole best class setup loadout going on. <laughs> this is incredible. I just wish I could walk a little faster, you know, because uh, time is money. Drive the van safely to Harry and Joe. And how far are they? Oh, my God, they're quite far. All right. So here we go. We've got a cop right here. So we've got to be extra careful. Oh, God. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, my God. If that cop saw me. <laughs> Brock. Why are you going towards the car? Are you guys dumb? 
<laughs> what is up with the people in this game? All right, this is gonna be quite a drive, so I may have to skip a little bit here and there, kind of like cut it up a little bit. Because the drive is uh, pretty long. Apartment 233, Misery Lane two hours later. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, we buy you a ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so he sent me to America and got me a job working for Clementi. Hmm. They spotted us. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. <laughs> Chase a fat man into the distillery and kill him. Oh my. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Back me up, Oh, I got you, baby. Let's go. Woo. Ah. We can't let that fat bastard get away. Let's go. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky. Come here, punk. <laughs> oh, no, that's a civilian. Oh! All right, I'm gonna go this way just in case. <laughs> oh, fuck. Watch out. There it is. There it is. Holy cow. All right, Vito, here we go. Oh, dude, are you Damn kidding me? Now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of bulls. Perfect. All right, let's head back upstairs. Somebody else here. Back me up, you know. Got him they right in the dome. The army? Oh, oh no! No! Dude, the gunplay in this game oh, no. is. Oh, no. I'm the best. The gunplay in this game is magnificent for it being so old. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Stay where you are. Oh, hold up. Uh-uh. Boys are rolling in deep. What is this? A shotgun? Hell yeah. Okay. Hit the button, Vito. Now we got ourselves a shotgun? What? Oh, let's go. What the hell are you doing, Joe? Why? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? I might use the pistol for now. Here they come! Alright, you got coming. Is that the fucking rescue? Shit, there's an army on you. Yo, do something! We can't just fucking sit here! What the fuck do you expect me to do? They shoot at me for Christ's sakes! Alright, pull out the shotgun. Come on, Porky's upstairs! Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god! <laughs> Don't kill me! Please! I got a wife! I got... Yo, you should have thought about your I, wife I, before. I'm doing you want. Just don't kill me! Oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> oh! <sighs> fuck you! Oh, I'm sorry, you was mm. fuck! Ah! Henry, you okay? Hey. Where'd he hit you? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay. you idiot. Take it easy. We're gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy. Lives up in High Park. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Oh, my <clears throat> You're heavier than you look. Oh, my Lord. That fuck. <laughs> you almost shot my balls off. <laughs> Take it easy. You missed him by a mile. Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna have to uh get out of here. Get all this ammo. Don't mind if I do, boys. Where are the cops, by the way? We just had like a massive shootout. Hey, careful. No, fucking hurts. Please. Yeah, I don't want to die. Oh. 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 Yeah, we so gotta run. Place is coming. Bro, what the heck is that? How do you just like... God damn, dude. I'm gonna swap over to the shotgun real quick. Uh, hello? What the heck? I'm back down here. No, 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 no. Oh, damn, some jinx. What do you mean, you fucking. All right. Oh, God. Ah, fuck. Back to El Greco's. If I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You should talk ah. right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah. Oh. What happened to the guy in the movie? He died. No. Oh, my lord. Ah. We gotta lose the cops now? Are you kidding me? Oh my God! What is? Bro, what is going on here? Dude! Bro, can we speed it up, please? Right, we're gonna have to get to the doctor. I guess we don't really have to lose the cops. Just gotta get there. Yes, I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? Ooh. I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball. You're telling me to relax? Just get me that breath, go, damn it. Oh my god. This is crazy. Yo! I'm gonna freaking die here. Who is this guy? What guy? He's got to take him in. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. Yeah. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, Jesus. Yes. Why the hell wouldn't yes. you be able to go to the hospital? Oh. Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be a <clears> guy. <throat> wow. Leave it to me to go against the grain on the traffic, huh? <laughs> Look at these guys. Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. 
I can smell the souvlaki from here. Wait, did we take the wrong path? We did not, right? Oh my goodness. I'm just like so caught up in like not dying and the cops. I'm... This is literally insane. Look at the freaking... Why are you running in the middle of the road? <laughs> you dumb. Oh, I love this game. I swear, if the cops don't kill us, my driving will. <laughs> Almost there. Now, the question is, do we have enough time? Where is this? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Right up the hill. Oh, my Lord. This was insane. All right, we lost the cops. Thank God. Right up here. Vito there. That house. Park right in front. Very nice house. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help. He's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. <sighs> Meet me at my place. <sighs> All right. You have the cash to repay your father's debt. Visit your sister. Huh. Where's this at? Okay. We're still wanted, by the way. The vehicle is wanted by the police, but I'm not, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that, uh. Get a different vehicle. What the fuck? <laughs> get out of the car, punk. There we go. Wow. All right. Making some progress. Very nice. Back at our mom's house. Talk to sis. Was it upstairs or? Wait, which one was it? What was the door? Oh, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was going to try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. All right, so two thousand dollars. Holy cow! That's some straight cash. Right, so now we gotta go back home, sleep on the couch again, and call it a day. All right, go back inside. Gotta go upstairs, was it? There we go. I wonder if his girl's gonna be here. Hmm. Nope. Just us. Let's grab a beer. Replenish our health. Good stuff. All right. All right, so before I go to sleep, I figure that uh, this might be the end of the chapter, so we're going to end it here. Again, thank you all for watching the videos. I'm really, really enjoying the story of Mafia 2 so far. And if you want more daily episodes, all you got to do is leave a like rating and uh, let me know in the comments. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys on the next one.